The politics of statues continued here in Belagavi with the onset of assembly polls here in Karnataka. In fact, the representatives of political parties have begun a competition of unveiling statues of stalwarts from the books of history, like Chhatrapati Shivaji, 12th century social reformer Basaveshwara, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar, and Sangoli Rayana. Now, we are here at Rajahan's fort in Belagavi, where a war of credit broke out between political parties, Congress and the BJP over unveiling this Chhatrapati Shivaji statue. Local MLA Lakshmi Hebalkar unveiled the statue three days after Chief Minister Basuraj Bomai unveiled it with both the leaders taking credit for building this particular statue here in Belgavi. As far as Belgavi is concerned, the population of Marathas, Lingayats and Scheduled Cats is in a considerable number. Hence, politicians are engaged in luring these respective communities symbolically by installing the statues of Chhatrapati Shivaji, social reformer of 12th century AD Basaveshwara, Sangoli Rayana and Dr. B. R. Ambedkar respectively. Now, will this strategy of these political parties where they unveil the statue of these stalwarts in order to lure the voters, will this work for them? Joining us here today is Anjali Nimbalkar, a uh, Congress MLA of Kanapur constituency. There's a whole politics, uh, the statue politics that has been going on uh, here. And uh, we recently saw many statues being unveiled uh, here in Belgavi, but both the uh, BJP and the Congress party. Uh, there, there's a thing that they are trying to lure voters by unveiling such statues, uh, you know, symbolically representing them. So how will this work? And we also saw Lakshmi Balkar Mam unveiling the Shivaji statue at the same time Chief Minister Basuraj Bamai also unveiled the same statue taking credit for it. So will this work? How does it work? I, I have my personal view on this. Hmm. I don't know with what agendas or what uh, uh, purposes other people do their politics. But my personal view on this is uh, no one should use these great leaders or great saints for political purposes. They had their own vision. Hmm. We can use the vision, work on that vision. Hmm. But uh, unveiling all such statues and woving voters on... Uh, uh, their name is a big thing which uh, unnecessary BJP people have started on Hindutva and all these things. Mm. So I think that that thing is uh, of no use and people are realizing now mm. that they are using our Chhatrapati mm. only for what purpose? Mm. Otherwise they have no respect, they have no, no uh, value of the vision or uh, purpose he had fought for. Mm. Likewise, Sangoli Ryan also, likewise Basavanna also, mm. all these three, Kittur, sorry, mm. Kittur Rani Chennama also, all these people have worked and fought for the people. Mm. And now BJP is using only for what politics? Mm. Everyone is realizing that. Mm. And my personal view, this is strictly my personal view, mm. these such leaders should not be used for political purposes mm. in their speeches also and in voting voters also. Mm. You see, the whole issue of statue politics is a pan India issue. Mayavati, in her later terms, thrived only on statue politics. She, in fact, set up parks in which she had her own statues. There is statue politics in front of Vidhan Sauda. You may remember that when somebody wanted to move the Ambedkar statue fr from slightly away from in front of the Vidhan Sauda, there are huge protests. Statues somehow are entwined with our sensational mindset and emotional mindset and we always look forward to and whenever there is a small mistake or somebody insulting a statue desecrating even attempts to desecrate have led to communal violence and violence here what happens everybody knows even the people who go and garland them 
when somebody some leader in belgami goes and garlands a statue of shivaji he knows that he is trying to appeal to the maratha votes you never know whether he he has real regard for shivaji or whether he has read history of shivaji very interestingly the person who took all the credit for installing the shivaji statue and got it unveiled twice in a matter of one week mrs lakshmi habalkar has been strongly opposing the construction of the rani chennamma university's new campus which is also in her constituency very sadly the voter in belgami rural which are assumed to be a large number of marathas they don't see the contradiction in this they should be fighting for the rani chennamma university campus and not a statue